that I took from from something that I've done for a film. I, I'm also I'm, I'm scoring films also, mainly classical, like classic electronic, I would say. And that's that's another thing that I do. So this intro was not used by the director. So I decided to do something with it. So basically here it is. I'm gonna play you the the intro and then when the intro ends it's like really grandiose and like her Hans Zimmer style like uh, you know action film style and um well not action yeah and after that i want to start with the beat and beat and bass that's all so i'm gonna play what i have so far Here I want the beat to start. So that's like a really long uh, intro. I, I'm not even sure by the way that I'm gonna do it. It's just me having fun in the studio and testing stuff. But that's like the idea to make it like a long orchestral intro and then the beat. So let's start. It's gonna be something very minimal, really booms booms this time, not uh, not anything not not anything clever just straight up four and four we will start with the kick drum i have uh, like this minimal kick very very boomsy uh, but where shall i do it i'll do it like far away from the intro just in case and I will loop one bar. So, come a little one. Kick drum, four quarters. Next, snare drum, I think. Snare drum. SD. On the twos and the fours. Nice. That's here. This is to be away. 
that the atmospheric stuff. Later on, I will I will put it. Hi it. Insert track. Hi it every eighth. Is this a way? Let's hmm. Where's the little one that is not doing it? <clears throat> That's a closed diet. Let's do a baseline. I have a baseline that has that has an octave, like it's on a D and it has a high octave and a low octave. Low, high. We start with the high. <clears throat> Put it here and then the lows. I just follow the high hit. And this is the so basically like after the intro. Of course not like that, I will have to edit it, maybe maybe the, the, the only the bass line will come in and then the other percussion will join. I just want to see, like I said, this is just testing, seeing what's the, what's the deal. Another thing that I want is to copy the, some parts of the classical instruments and converting them into electronic instruments mm -mm -mm. like for example like if I would take the violin I have no clue what's gonna happen really hmm. yeah but that's just one note that doesn't say anything so I need to take like a more melodic thing. That's very interesting to see if I can pull it off. Bringing an emotion into the bones, bones. So, like, I'm gonna take a chord, let's say, like the cello, and put it on a like this. Ah, okay, like for example, this is the real strings. Wait, I need 
to duplicate some more. Let's say I'm taking the, the cello part and putting it on a silent. Like this with this. Like, you know, the cheesiest Goa thing. I'm just gonna go for it, no shame. I don't know. Try something else, another. Let's try a piano instead of the cello. Maybe the real piano with with an electronic like let's, let's try the real piano. Interesting, for sure. Let's try the main violin on it. Mm -mm. No, doesn't work. Let's try the violin on hmm. another sound like let's uh, hmm. okay silent Like a soft sound. This one, this one. Try.
Okay, I um, I don't know. I need just to save it. That's that's normally how I make music. When something is like weird, I don't know how I feel about it. Could be great, could be awful. I just save it and then listen the next day. So bye.